the statistics that I think is most interesting is that if you look at the top quartile of American kids by income in America, so the richest quarter of kids, and you compare them internationally to the richest quarter of kids in every other country, our children rank 23rd out of 30 developed nations. The poorest fourth of our kids compared to the poorest fourth of other nations kids also rank 23rd. So we have not just a problem with our poor kids, we have a problem with our not poor kids too. And the reality is that while our rich kids in this country may be doing better than the poor kids in this country, they're not doing better against their peers in other nations. And that's who they're going to be competing against for jobs when they grow up, not, not with the kids down the street. Um, so that's one thing. The second thing I'd say is, does poverty matter? Absolutely. When you are a child who lives in abject poverty and you are coming to school every day without being fed a healthy breakfast, without be, being put to bed the night before at a decent hour, maybe the electricity in your house got shut off, you have a, 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 a cavity in your tooth the, the size of a penny, I mean, these things matter. It makes it harder for kids to come to school and learn every day. It makes it harder for the teachers to teach. There's no question about that. However, what the disturbing trend is right now is that now people are saying, well, because of poverty, kids can't learn. So when kids come from poverty, we can't possibly expect the schools and the teachers to do anything about it because look at their parents and look at the environment they come from. And I would say that contention is absolutely wrong. Because if you look at any circumstance across civilization in any country, what we know is that the best tool that we have to fight intergenerational poverty and break that cycle of poverty is education. It's not a particular social program or this or that. It is making sure that that kid gets a high quality education. So for poor kids in this country, we should not be saying, oh, because you're poor, you, we can't be expected to provide you with a high quality education. Instead, what we should be saying is because you're poor, it is more incumbent upon us to make sure that you get a high quality education because that's going to ensure that you're not poor going forward. And I think that this notion, I mean, so if you look at uh, social mobility rates in this country, they are actually near the bottom internationally, which means that if you are a child born into poverty in this country, the likelihood that you will ever escape poverty is not good. That, to me, goes against every ideal we have as a country. That, that, that is so un-American, right? This is the country where it doesn't matter where you were born, who, what your color your skin is, that if you work hard and you do the right thing, you can live the American dream. But that's not the reality for most of the kids in this country today, because if you grow up in this country today in poverty, the likelihood is very great that you go to a, a, a failing school where you're not going to learn the skills and knowledge that you need to be a productive member of society. That means that, that the whole premise on which this country is founded is broken. And in my opinion, the best bet that we have to fix it is through education.